hi guys welcome back to my channel today as you can see i'm in a different scenery i'm sitting at pomona which is a restaurant in osu it's actually one of my favorite restaurants in ghana and with that said i wanted to share with you guys how my experience in ghana has been so far it's been a year a full year i just wanted to discuss with you guys how it's been and how i'm finding it okay so i've been here for actually last week it was exactly a year that i moved here so i'm done because you know as i told you guys before i've been studying here and i'm actually done with my course next month so yeah we'll be a year in ghana i won't lie when i first moved here i was so excited and amped up to discover accra because i'd been here once before and i had made that decision based on my experience the last time i was here so unfortunately as soon as i landed well maybe like two weeks in then covid started so there was a whole lockdown and the chaos that came with it just disrupted my whole move we even stopped going to classes we had to do zoom classes so everything was at a standstill but once the lockdown was eased i sort of um tried to go to places and discover places then i got to meet a few people but it, it really was not easy but what i did see and discover whilst i was here was really fun i got to see all the beautiful places in accra and i'm still yet to discover more places so i've been doing that especially in december i would definitely recommend people to start coming to ghana even if it's not like a permanent transition but if you can find something to do here business wise especially if you're an entrepreneur there are so many businesses that still don't exist here so if you come in with that mindset of coming to a, a place and starting on a clean slate and starting over and things like that and not minding some of the hurdles that may come with moving here you have to come here with an open mindset but yeah did ghana is definitely the place to be everybody's looking to move here because of the opportunities especially if you have ghanaian descent or maybe ancestors that were from here you are automatically given more perks but even if you're not from even if you don't have that kind of ancestry it's still the place to be so i would definitely recommend it and this is something i'm considering as well in all honesty i found that Ghanaian people are, can tend to be shy or more reserved so it, it was hard to meet people in the beginning because then it was hard to like nobody would kind of like approach me or vice versa because i'd feel like okay this is a bit awkward except people like i work with or go to school with then i'd have those interactions but all in all it is kind of hard to meet people here but i think as time goes and you start meeting one or two people here who can introduce you to other people then it's easier and you may not feel as lonely but um generally it is kind of hard to meet people here i won't I, i'm just going to be honest with that and then the food i am um, I love Ghanaian food. I love what tilapia and banku, banku and tilapia, jollof rice. Yes, that whole argument. Ghanaians have the best jollof rice, by the way. And yeah, I've tasted most of the food here. Fufu and what ground nut soup. That is also one of my favorites. Yeah, so I could say I do love the food here. It's amazing. Question. Drum roll. Are you considering moving here permanently um, or starting a future here, maybe businesses or are you dipping because your program at school is almost done? Yeah, um, well, I am a restless person and I've, I, like I said before, I haven't lived in a place for a very long time because I'm already thinking, oh my gosh, what else is out there? But obviously in the times we're living in now with COVID and stuff, I'm thinking maybe let me just settle for a couple of years and I do like Ghana it's peaceful and it's definitely something I'm thinking about toying with the idea but I haven't made the ultimate decision yet obviously I am a bit homesick because I haven't been home in a while now obviously but I think I will decide I think I have decided to stay and then once the time and the opportunity presents itself I will visit home as often as I can because obviously there's still that thing that I need to be home, I need to see my family and it's, it's become a bit difficult with not seeing my family but all in all I love Ghana, it's peaceful, it's beautiful, it's developing there's plenty of opportunities here 
and I can finally say I feel great about living here and I'm finally in that space so yes I am staying on big shout out to you baby girl give them the nail plug at the bottom <laughs> uh, oh yeah I'm gonna link it below I'm gonna link where I did my nails aren't they lovely they are beautiful <laughs> okay guys thank you for watching that was just a short recap on how my stay has been so far and as time goes I'll let you know more about my experience in Accra looking to travel to other places in Ghana so keep out English anyway it's fine bye guys thanks for watching <laughs>